Those of you who are going to jury duty, is it an honor? Um, I don't know. But Welcome to another day of jury duty. Today is the official day of the trial, and it's actually only 8.30 right now. I just got done with the interview with Subway. That's the first thing I had to do this morning. Now I'm going to an appointment with a, for a dental research at my school, so that should be interesting. <laughs> Really early to my appointment, which is at 9:30. It's only about 8:40 right now, so I'm just chilling in here. Probably gonna start exploring the building where I need to go do this checkup. It's weird making it early in the summer because I've been sitting in most of the time, but it feels nice. But yeah, there's I don't know if you can hear me. There's construction going on. Okay, let's go. government building because I have an hour break don't know what to do I already ate lunch in the government cafe and now I don't know what to do anymore so you can enjoy the views but yeah just exploring it's a little hot outside I kind of felt bad because some dude asked me to borrow my phone to make an important call but I said sorry because I thought if you really needed to make that important call he could have gone inside the building and asked the security guard someone else for their phone clock in on the end of my first day of the real trial for jury duty we were there for like from 10 45 a.m to 4 p.m the attorneys they had their opening statements they brought up some witnesses questioned them and so on and so forth and that was pretty much all that happened today i learned just a lot more of what attorneys and judges and bailiffs do for their jobs and stuff so that was interesting and then i got to see the different types of people you the attorneys question for like witnesses everyone's different and it really takes all the patience to like get the answer that you want from the person and also to have the person understand where you're coming from so I can see how that's like a stressful job at the same time also the attorneys also have to listen throughout the whole thing when their opponent is questioning to like say objection or stuff like that and then the judge that's sustained if they agree with the objection or overruled when they don't it's pretty cool just to see how it goes on it's just long <laughs> I didn't sleep a full good night's sleep I had like seven hours which is all right but I have been sleeping at least eight these past couple days, so I was feeling tired this morning, so I was kind of falling asleep. So they actually gave us these memo pads and pen so we could take notes to help us remember what was said in the trial. Obviously, we can't take them home. They have to be left there for privacy reasons and stuff. The judge read over the rules and stuff, and also he read over whether or not you should take notes. It's up to you, personally. And then he went over them that if you're taking notes, sure, it'll help you remember things, but you might be missing seeing the witness and their demeanor to see and determine if they're what they're saying is true and stuff which is very much true because if you're taking notes obviously you can't do the same thing at the same time sure you can listen but you need to really see the person to determine yourself if what you believe they're saying is true or not so i was like this is the first time in which notes are not necessarily a good thing to take <laughs> but i definitely took some notes just to help keep me awake and not from falling asleep and it just keeps me actively listening you saw the clips earlier i went to explore the surrounding areas because i didn't want to drive home save some gas a little bit low, hopefully I can last until Thursday. We shall see, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go to the thrift store in the morning, earlier, because this thrift store in that city has their sales on Tuesday, so I thought I'd check it out early in the morning when before it gets picked over and before jury duty starts again. So that's what's gonna happen. And then lunchtime, I already prepared my lunch, my breakfast for tomorrow. I won't have to wake up, well, I don't have to wake up early anyway, cause I only woke up earlier today. I woke up at seven today because I had a subway interview, which went okay. Not sure if they're gonna call me back, not sure if I want them to, just because there's also this other job that I just found out, they emailed me to make an interview. I found out like a week late. <sighs> Check your emails, guys. 
check them all the time. I don't care if you're on break, check them every day. So I just emailed them today to have them come back to, come back to me because they said that you've said that if I'm still interested, just let them know, and I still am. I feel bad though since I did miss their email, but hopefully they'll still give me a chance. And then yeah, I had that appointment uh, interview at 8:30. And I came early, so they got it done early. And then I had another appointment at 9.30, which you saw earlier for the study for teeth. I was approved, so I have to come back next week to get started on it. But yeah, that's basically what happens the day after Jordy just came back home, relaxed a bit, ate and stuff, you know, walked my dog and all things good like that. But yeah, started filming for some new videos coming up soon. So get my creative juices flowing. We are prepared for tomorrow, so it's gonna be good. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace out. Welcome to jury duty trial day two. Anyways, today I'm actually gonna go first to the thrift shop in the city of where the courthouse is. Today's their like special sale. I thought I'd stop by before my jury starts. So I'm about to head over there right now. Just gonna pack up my lunch and stuff for eating at jury duty because I don't wanna buy food. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see what happens today. I will not bring my camera once again. I'll just use my phone. So sorry about the quality, but. Hope you still get a sense of what's going on, so, yeah, peace. Here in my car, the one jury stuff, the witnesses thing, interviewing, whatever. It's cut short, so I don't know what to do now. Thrifting again, not at the clearance store because I didn't come prepared with bags or gloves, but another Goodwill near my dad's house, so I might drop by there too afterwards. So yeah, we'll see what we find. There it is, woohoo! Hey everyone, I'm back from second day of jury duty and we're actually going to deliberate starting tomorrow, so that's cool. Anyways, I didn't realize her hair got a mess today, but this is my fit. I was going to film it today. Um, she doesn't have my Adidas uh, rose gold stamp smith. They're white with rose gold on the back. These pants from Favors Thrift Store and Shirt Champion Champion Store. Chokers from Target and Flash Target. No makeup today because it was too hot. I didn't want to sweat it off, so I just did mascara and brows. And hair is just a mess, so whatever. But yeah, I now I'm going to give you guys a little haul, I guess, from the stuff I got from the thrift store. I took a chance. The first thrift store I went to, I didn't try anything on because I was rushing. I was almost going to be late to my journey, which would not be okay because you can be arrested for that. So I <laughs> also got two items from another Goodwill when I had my lunch break, which I will probably sell in my other store. But yeah, I took a lot of chances today. <laughs> so I got these pants. They're like professional pants, but... It's, they're kind of trendy nowadays, like this type of pattern, and I didn't try them on, but they said they're a size 6, so that should fit me. They were having a sale for blue tags were 50% uh, off, so I got this for $150. I got these jeans. I like that they're the thicker type. They're actually by Gap, even though the tag is off. I read it on the button, and then they're size 4, so they might fit me. And I like how it's button up, so it's kind of mid-rise. We shall see. And the bottom's just flare. I might cut off the bottoms to make it like those trendy cut-off flare jeans. This was green tag. Green tags were 25% off. So this was, I got this for like $5.50 I think. Moving on, I went to the men's outerwear section. Found this one. Uh, orange and yellow tags were 75% off so I got this for $0.50. Cents. It's just a basic like cream sweater which I could resell or just wear when winter comes if that ever will come. Same guy section I saw these two windbreaker type jackets. This one is like a vintage type feel. They're both large but I like the oversized look. This one's just really bright green. It's 100% silk according to the tax, that's cool. And it was green, so I got this 25% off, it was like 150. Not bad, it seems cool, just gotta steam it. I got a black one, this one's just, I like how it's so basic, black to go with any outfit. It, only thing, it has this Toyota patch, which I guess is okay, I heard there's like a racing trend, so I guess that could work, but yeah. This was 2.98 and I got 25% off, so it was like 2.50 or 2.75, something like that, but. Oh, and also the Goodwill. I went during lunch break, I just got this romper. It's, it was four bucks. I can't, I overpaid for this, but it's cute for summer, I guess. Found this skirt, which is really cool. I thought it was really cute because it had these tie up sides, and the color of the week was yellow, so I got this for 50% off, so it was like $2.25. So, yep, 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 yep. You gotta wash this stuff and try it on. <laughs> to today's video of jury duty. Today is deliberation day one. Not sure how long this will take us, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, the attorneys will probably have their closing statements and then we're gonna deliberate, so we'll see what happens. I'm wearing my uh, half casual, half, well, business casual, basically. I have this shirt and then I have my little pants, which you could see in my thrift haul in my other channel. Now I'm just gonna make my face look a little more decent and then head over to the courthouse. 
<laughs> so I'm back from first day of deliberations. I realized to be a juror you really need to be, well, not necessarily be, but it helps to be a bit more outspoken. I'm not the most outspoken or assertive I can be, but normally I choose not to be or I'm fine with just listening in. And so it was kind of sometimes hard to get a word in. I was fine just listening, but then again, other jurors like helped like ask the quiet ones like, oh yeah, what do you think and stuff. So it just helps to know your opinion and just feel free to share it. A lot of the times people can talk about irrelevant things, so it's like up to you and everyone else to help steer it back to the direction of getting to the bottom of what you're going to do. We're gonna meet again tomorrow at 9 instead of 10.45 this time, so I guess sleep early, but that's today. I feel like I just need to get my thoughts in order and have something to say, because I have things to say, but then someone else says it before me, so I'm just like, okay, yeah. Hmm. All right, bye. <laughs>we can't come to a conclusion so it was a uh, hung jury <clears throat> numbers were 10 to 2 for a decision and so it is a mistrial the attorneys are going to decide whether they're going to try it again but yeah what an experience i have to say for those of you who are going to jury is it an honor um i don't know but you definitely get to serve your country for what it's worth but if you're good at sharing opinions then i feel like jury duty may be good for you at least in deliberation wise if you're okay with sharing your opinion not being swayed by others and really thoroughly considering both factors on both sides then i think you'd be a great juror but yeah so that was the time so after it was all over we um met with the attorneys just to get i guess the, a closure they're asking us what swayed us in our decisions and stuff so they can figure out what to do for the next time and yeah it's just it's been really cool just to see how it all works and how the attorneys are actually working together in a way <laughs> because I thought they were always against each other, but they really do confer one another on their case. I guess another thing is also you get to meet people from different cities within your county. They're just interesting to hear their life stories and stuff. Really get exposed to a lot of different people in a different world. I can't talk about this case specifically until after 90 days. I'm probably going to make a video on my main channel about what I wore, what I actually wore. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link down below. But anyways, thanks for, again for watching. Sorry, it's bad quality. But I hope you really enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions about the whole process. And if you want to know about the case, I could talk about it 90 days from now. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, peace out guys. It's been good. Just happy to finally go home. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to peace out now. I'm going to focus on driving. See ya.